Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Han Byo Lee from Seoul National University Hospital. Um, today, I would like to introduce to you the precision medicine at Seoul National University Hospital. Uh, we do have an, a short introductory video about our, our um, Center for Precision Medicine. So I would like to start with a um, disclosure slide and also an introduction to Seoul National University Hospital, or I would call it SNUH. Um, it is the institution at the forefront of medicine in Korea. So SNUH, which is history, can be tracked back to 1885, uh, when the Korea's first national hospital was established, um, called the Jejuwon. After that, the Dehan Hospital was founded, and also the establishment of Seoul National University College of Medicine um, during, the, uh, during and through the colonial period. And by 1978, uh, that was over 40 years ago, um, the current main building of our hospital was built. And um, following that, uh, we founded the Children's Hospital in 1985, and also, we initiated a commission-based operation of Seoul Municipal Hospital in 18, 1987. Um, we opened the Bundang Hospital in 2003, and also the healthcare system, Gangnam Center. And, also, and we built a SNU Cancer Hospital in 2011. And in 2014, we started uh, the operation of Sheikh Khalifa Specialty Hospital in United Arab Emirates, Emirates um, as our international um, hospital service. In 2001, uh, a spin-off company called Easy Care Tech um, wa uh, was established as a separate company. And now that company is, uh, is now the largest medical IT company in Korea. And it is really pioneering the hospital information system development. Um, so about SNUH Health, Health Group, we currently have 14, over 4,100 beds and 12,000 employees. And Korea, as you probably know, is located in East Asia, and the capital is Seoul. So Seoul National University Hospital and its branch hospitals are located in this area. The main campus is in the heart of Seoul, and the Boramai Center is in the south, uh, southwestern part of Seoul. Bundang Hospital is about 30 kilometers away in the suburbs. And I'm sure you pretty well know about Gangnam Center, Gangnam, which from uh, the Gangnam style. Um, the SNUH healthcare system, 
Gangnam Center is located in the southern part of Seoul. I'll briefly go over some summary statistics of SNUH main hospital, uh, the pioneer of a precision medicine platform in Korea. SNUH is a government and non government nonprofit tertiary referral hospital with over 1,700 beds. And we see about 600,000 inpatients and 2.3 million outpatients patients per year, uh, which is about 8,600 8, patients per day. Um, there, SNUH employs about 1,400 physicians and about 2,200 nurses. The Center for Precision Medicine at SNUH was established in November 2017. The background ground was that there are par paradigm shifts from evidence-based medicine to genomic database medicine, and there is a demand of developing precision medicine as the national drive of future growth from the, uh, from the country. And now genome-based precision medicine is the is a indicator for advanced medical innovation so by implementing clinical precision medicine service through genomics analysis and by securing global competitiveness through building big biomedical data and facilitating translational re medicine through linking research and clinical practice and also enhancing public value through national hub of uh, precision medicine as, an, uh, as a national hospital, we have aimed to revolutionize healthcare. So precision medicine in Korea, um, since May of 2017, NGS testing is partially covered by the national health insurance with a 50% copayment, and all hereditary diseases and most hematologic malignancies and solid tumor with targeted agents are covered. And according to the disease category, there is a required gene that's that, uh, to be uh, included in each panel. However, only pre-approved facilities are allowed to, allowed to perform the testing. And as of uh, March 2019, there are 57 approved sites in Korea, including 35 tertiary hospitals. And in those sites, there are 486 approved NGS panels uh, to be used in the clinic. Uh, this is comparable to the uh, tests in the United States. According to the Genetic Testing Registry, when we sort the panels according to availability in the clinic and, uh, and also uh, from labs approved by CLIA, um, there are only 35 uh, panels that is uh, available, uh, available for use in the U.S. And most of these panels are provided by companies and not the hospitals. This is the big difference between Korea and United States. So at SNUH, we have um, five panels up and running. The service started last year in uh, 2018. Um, they are the can uh, cancer panel, which is a pan-cancer panel, the lung cancer panel, the HEMIC panel, which looks at uh, hematologic malignancies, the glioma panel, and the brain tumor panel. Uh, we look at the, uh, we use these panels to uh, look at the tumor, if they have any druggable targets. And even if, we, uh, when we discover druggable targets, we can incorporate the, these patients into clinical trials uh, to provide them with the chance to go on, on with the state-of-the-art state treatment. So in uh, SNUH, um, our test volume is continuously increasing. And in January 2019, the test number um, exceeded 20, 200 per month. And um, as of last month, uh, nearly 1,200 tests have been performed. And a lot of these results have been implemented into clinical practice and also the treatment of the, the specific patient. Uh, we also have some other panels in development, including the hereditary cancer panel, which looks at germline mutations of 64 uh, related genes, and also a CT DNA panel, which is a circulating tumor DNA panel for colorectal, lung, and breast cancers, and also tests for uh, responsiveness to immune therapy, 
and a comprehensive panel for colorectal cancers as well. Um, it was all possible to, to develop all these uh, various panels at our hospital because SNUH uh, was designated as a Korea research-driven hospital. And this is a project uh, run by the Ministry of Health and Welfare to promote world-class research and development in key research fields. And SNUH uh, is, is in charge of the cancer and inflammatory and metabolism unit. And the aim of cancer, the cancer unit is to develop cancer genome-based uh, tools for personalized therapy. Um, we are currently in phase two of the project to implement a cancer precision medicine program through an integrated open platform. And the goal of phase two is twofold. It is to establish an open platform and clinical applications of cancer genome-based diagnostic products. And going forward into phase three, we aim to provide our um, uh, state-of-the-art panels and uh, sophisticated panels to the patients uh, in Korea and also globally. Um, this is all possible, uh, it facilitated by the fact that SNUH is a leading site for clinical trials worldwide. It is ranked th number three in terms of the number of studies um, into, into clinical trials. And this is important because the results of the panels uh, will be used to enroll the patients into clinical trials for the uh, chance for cure in these, in, in these patients. So the Center for Precision Medicine in SNUH is in uh, liaison with Office of Hospital Information and Genetics Laboratory the Cancer Unit of Research Driven Hospital, and the Biomarker Center of the Center for in Medical Innovation, which is also a um, institution in SNUH. Um, this slide is, is an overview of the history of HIS for our hospital. To make it brief, uh, we implemented the SNUH administrative system in 1979. We first uh, used the CPOE at, in 1999 in 2001, and we introduced the electronic medical records uh, in 2004, and we currently use the next generation hospital information system in 2016. The HIS in SNUH um, is a monolithic system covering all functionalities of the exception, with the exception of PACS, uh, including the EMR and CDW, which is the data warehouse. For HIS, uh, we are using Best Care 2.0, provided by Easy Care Tech, uh, which is the spin-off company I mentioned earlier. Um, it is a solution supporting HL7, made outside of um, North America. And it is also a first ONC, which is the Office of National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. Um, it, is certified, it is a certified solution um, outside of North America. So as we, as we know, we can't, uh, only the omics data is by itself is nothing um, uh, unless we, get, we can get all the clinical data integration. So we do have a system um, for uh, extracting the clinical data uh, from the CDW project called Supreme. Um, it is divided into three parts clinical data research, co uh, the clinical quality indicators, and the cohort mark tool. It also collaborates with IRB, IRB to confirm ethics of clinical research, research researches. So this is the workflow currently in, in SNUH. From the clinic, we get the patient data and also the pathological and laboratory data. And from the research-driven hospital, we get the biomarker uh, data from the biomarker center. And we integrate the data in the Center for Precision Medicine. And uh, through a molecular tumor board, we get expert opinions. And we integrate these, all of these data with a system called SIAPS and give it back to the clinic for, uh, uh, for the consultations and treatment of patients. 
In brief, PsyOps is a precision medicine platform which integrates clinical, uh, clinical data and also the molecular data and um, uses all these laboratory, um, hospital information system, and the precision medicine um, uh, process data to give back um, recommendations for treatment for each patient. So um, to provide the service to our international patients, we have a, an international healthcare center. Uh, we serve over 90 countries, uh, 36,000 outpatients, and 1,600 inpatients were served in 2018. Um, we have a, numerous interpreters, so um, it will be uh, easy to, for, for international patients to get their service at our hospital. And these are the contact information for your, uh, uh, for your needs. So in conclusion, SNUH is Korea's leading hospital utilizing a powerful hospital information system with um, clinical data warehouse and NGS pipelines. It is a Korea research driven uh, hospital and it plays an essential role in advancing oncology precision medicine platforms in Korea. Clinical NGS panels in Korea are hospital lab based and each testing site has many customized NGS tests. And consider, considering the state of, state of NGS testing in Korea and SNUH, we opted for a biomarker-based international and centralized model to exchange NGS data. So considering globalization trends of medicine, the platform which allows for exchange of clinical genomic data across continents will lead precision medicine in the future. And at SNUH, we, um, aim to, we hope to play a very important role globally. Thank you very much for your attention.